talking about Worldwide Technology Raceway. Nathan DeGroote is joining us right now, Credential and Ticketing Manager. Thank you so much for joining thank you. us. Thank you for having me. Man, you got a big one coming up. Yes, we do. The Enjoy Illinois 300 is coming mm -hmm. in. We're talking NASCAR. How excited are you guys? Oh, we are definitely excited. Yeah, it's going to be a fun, impactful weekend coming up. We've got a lot, of, lot going on. Uh, we've got races, we've got concerts, we've got a bunch of various other stuff. Wrestling will kind of be going on as well on Saturday. So uh, it's a lot of fun, exciting stuff going on next weekend. Yeah, this is an official NASCAR race. I mean, mm -hmm. people need to know this is NASCAR right yep. in our own backyard. A great opportunity to see some great racing. Right, yeah. It's uh, our third year doing this. We sold out the previous two. so. Uh, we're looking forward to having another excited packed crowd out for next weekend. And it's a unique track mm -hmm. at, at uh, Worldwide Technology Raceway, so it makes for an interesting race. Right. Yeah, it's a mile and a quarter track, so it's a little bit smaller, so a little more action that you can kind of see. Uh, any seat that a fan gets, you pretty much see most of the track. There's not a bad seat in the house, so it's pretty entertaining and fun to watch. Revan is racing. There's right. a lot of Revan right. racing going on out there. You mentioned music as well. The Confluence Music yep. Festival is going to be going on as well. Yep. Uh, come, some of our musical acts that we'll be having performing next weekend is Ludacris will be performing Saturday, June 1st, post-race. Um, Riley Green will also be the headliner on Sunday, along with T-Pain and Adam Wainwright. Um, those guys will be going perform, performing pre-race. Um, and kind of the unique thing about our event with the concerts is that your race ticket gets you in to, for the concert. So you don't need to buy a separate ticket. A race ticket just gets you in and you get to see all the racing action along with those concerts and performances. That's really cool. That's really cool. Now here's what you need to know is it's not just this one weekend that they're, they're, they race and they're done. Y'all have events going on all year long. Mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of opportunities for people to go out and experience right. things including the go-karts. I love the go-karts out there. Yeah, you definitely have a from, you know, majority of the year, we've got events going on taking place pretty much weekly. So, um, you know, some of our more local stuff like Midnight Madnesses, we usually have about once a month. Um, we also have the IndyCar Series come out August 17th and 18th of this year, along with NHRA on our drag strip from September 27th through the 29th. Midnight Madness, tell them a little bit about what that is. Yeah, so Midnight Madness is pretty much anybody can bring out a street legal vehicle. Uh, you can take it. You can take pass down the drag strip. Uh, we do have some rules and regulations that you do need to adhere to. But you know, if you got, if you bring your regular car out, you can run it down the drag strip. We also have drifting going on. So uh, if you like drifting or you're into watching that kind of stuff, that's something that you can kind of come out and watch and see as well. Always something going on. Mm -hmm. It is Worldwide Technology Raceway. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, Nathan. thank you. We appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure. Yeah, keep it right here. We got more coming your way on the 9 a.m. It's time to explore St. Louis.